1952, at the age of 25, Queen Elizabeth II came into power. And I think you'll all agree, at the age of 25, that is a great responsibility to take on. And I think, for me personally, there's something that resonates with that. Taking on that responsibility, taking on that that stress, almost, of an entire country. And not just a country, but an entire commonwealth, which she would go on to grow and strengthen throughout the reign until, obviously, of her passing recently. Now... I went out to go and shoot a video recently um, on the day, um, the last day of which you could line up to go and view the Queen lying in state. Lying in state means that the public, people like myself, can get the opportunity to go and pay our respects. And on that day I was going out to go and shoot a POV video, a point of view photography video around London. And there was something within me that, that felt, that felt rude for doing that. And there was nobody from my side of the family um, that had gone to to pay their respects to the Queen and I decided to queue. Now, the queue itself stretched from Westminster Abbey all the way round to Tower Bridge. It was a colossal queue. So about two and a half hours, three hours in, um, I'd say we're probably about halfway point. This is the queue situation. It's pretty hectic. It's, it's, it's quite nuts. Um, I think it's about four or five hours from here. Um, but yeah, it's, I guess it'll be worth it. Now, before I divulge into this, I just wanna say I'm making this video out of respect. I wanted to go out and shoot the energy and the atmosphere of everybody that was out. And it was generally a really nice vibe. It was incredible to be a part of and it's never ever going to happen again. Um, so, Here's a POV of me shooting the mourners, the people celebrating the Queen's life and her reign um, and the monarchy in itself. I will say I am not a royalist. Uh, I don't actually agree with the monarchy, but the woman herself devoting that much time and energy for one cause and it was inherently for the better of the masses. I respect that and I respect that a lot. Okay, so come down to Waterloo Place. Uh, down that way, there's a, a kid on like his dad's shoulders with a flag. I think that'd be quite a nice shot. Okay, and we're gonna as we kind of go along today. That's the the type of shot we're gonna go for. You can see it's absolutely rammed. Um, I'm gonna go with the flow for now and and just kind of see where I end up getting. Um, no kind of real objective today, just I want to be out and and just capture the moment. Maybe there's a dude in the centre here selling hats. You can pick him out through the crowd, that might be quite nice. So we're going to manual focus, pull focus through the crowd onto the dude. How's it going? Right. Yeah, good. Got anything decent? Not really. No? Wherever I'm trying to go, uh, everything's blocked. So coming down here, we've got a guy with some medals on um, in his suit. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the crowd as a bit of foreground, pull focus in manual focus on the dude on the other side. I think we'll probably go 100 mil for this one. kind of want to go parallel like this. I'm going to jump up here and just grab a shot of kind of the street. Security just told me to get down, but just moved up the street. Okay, so we've got a nice shot here. This dude's hands, is quite a nice shot. Uh, okay, so I've come down to Hyde Park now. Um, I think it's probably a cool shot at 200 mil if I can get the uh, kind of the guards going through. I think actually if I jump over here, go through this section. Oh, that's going to be quite nice, actually. Okay, so I've got a few shots there. Um, 
Now the guards are obviously going down towards um, towards Buckingham Palace and everybody's running down that way because they think, oh, we're going to see more, we're going to see more. Um, but the procession actually comes back this way, which obviously people are not obviously aware of, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go keep going down towards Royal Albert Hall uh, while everybody else runs after the guards and follows them that way. I'm going to go the opposite way um, where the procession is actually going to be. Okay, so I did obviously get some shots of the procession going past. Um, I tried being as respectful as possible um, and I didn't want to record, but the photos I did get are on the screen. Um, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> obviously it went past quite quick with the, the procession, but um, thankfully I had the uh, last night to, to have the opportunity to see the, the Queen letting the state, which was amazing. Um, now walking back to the hotel, I'm going to get some shots, um, kind of like the mourners as I go through. Just I'll get some shots and you'll see them. Um, the lighting's really nice at the moment because the the sun's kind of come out, so you've got some nice shadows and and stuff like that. So I'm going to see if I can find some flowers with some shadows, people looking at flowers and stuff like that. Um, but it was it was nice. It was lovely to see. Um, up here, Union Jack. I think that looked quite quite cool. Jonathan Grosky is so lovely. King Charles, uh, this has been a grueling 10 days for him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it at the 1635, but there's a dude up on the roof up there, which is, uh, looks quite cool. Let's see if I can get it. I think 35 mil. Sweet. Okay, so this shot here of the dude carrying the flowers, which is quite cool. I think 35 mil. Definitely works quite well. So there's a really cool shot here where uh, you've got two of the military guys up in the, the barracks. Um, which looks really nice. They're just chilling there, watching the crowds. It's really nice. So throughout this POV, you saw that there was quite a good amount of energy, good vibes, great feels, and I generally enjoyed it. Now, all of the photos in today's video uh, were edited with my presets. Uh, there is not a link in the description. If you want to uh, know where to find them, then go and find them. Um, I don't want to promote or make any money from this video. Um, Google slash YouTube themselves will put ads on this video, um, but I have not monetized this video just as an FYI. So if you do see an ad, that money's not going to me. Um, I don't want to benefit from this. It was a passion project. I wanted to go out and just be a part of it and uh, I think that's important to remember sometimes. Um, again, if you do want to see uh, any of the videos of mine, then you can go and go and find me. Go and find me somewhere else. If this is the first video, then you're watching. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you to uh, Queen Elizabeth II herself. Um, although she will never ever see this, um, I think that I speak for an entire nation and a commonwealth to say that she did an amazing job and I felt privileged to queue for eight and a half hours in order to pay my respects, even if it was for 10 seconds. With all that being said, 
create more, stress less, and go into today thinking about others and enjoy.